lesson about 4.2 quadratic function in standard form. So 4.1 was all about the vertex form, right? So we did something like 2x plus 1 squared plus, I mean, minus 3. So that's a quadratic function in vertex form. For this instance, uh, the vertex was going to be what? Negative 1 comma negative 3. So when it's in the vertex form, it's easy to find out what the vertex is. However, sometimes you, um, the quadratic function might be given in what's called a standard form that looks like this. Okay, It has a form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Two different forms, but they both represent quadratic. So let's figure out what they are. So the property of the standard form, the a value, so sorry, let me go back here. This a value, those a value, two are the same a value. So the a value in the standard form is same a as the vertex form. And what else do we have to know about that a value? The a value tells you two things. What are those two things? The direction and the width of the parabola, right? So if the a was positive, it's the up. If a was negative, it's the upside down u. I can't really do it. Uh, if epsilon value a is greater than 1, it's a narrow. If epsilon value a is less than 1, it's going to be the wider than the parent function, and so on. So review skill 4.1. Now, something new. Axis of the symmetry is the, the, the if you type a graph like this, the line that goes through in the middle of a parabola is called the axis of symmetry. And it's going to be x is equal to negative b over 2a. That's something you got to memorize it. Where did those b and a come from? Right here. a is the number in front of x squared, b is the number in front of x. So you're going to plug it in to find out what that axis of that symmetry is going to be. All right. Do you notice that the axis of symmetry x value is going to be the same as the x value of the vertex? Right? So the x coordinate of the vertex is going to be the same. Negative b over 2a. And once you find the x value, you're going to plug that back to the function to find the y value after that. And the y intercept is going to be the y value when x is equal to 0. That's just the definition of it, right? And well, technically, if it's in a standard form, if I plug 0 into x, that disappears, that disappears, so you're only going to left with the c. So you can say it's going to be c on the standard form. So, there we go. What are the direction and the width of this? And also find the vertex. Well, you know, if it's asking me the direction and the width, that has to do with the what value? The a value. Oops. A value. So what's the a value for this problem? A is 2. Okay, so a is 2. All right. Is 2 positive? Yeah. So since it's positive, it's going to be opens up. Is absolute value of 2 greater than 1 or less than 1? Greater than 1. So what does that mean? It's going to be narrow than parent function. Okay, so it's going to be open up, narrow than the parent function. So it's going to be something like this, right? All right, now let's find the vertex. How do I find the vertex? All right, I got to find the x coordinate of the vertex first. How do you do it? Negative b over 2a. So x is equal to negative b over 2a. a is 2, b is negative 6. Don't forget about that negative. And c is 3. So negative b is negative b. b is what? Negative 6 over 2 times a is 2. So all you have to do is plug it in. So 6 over 4, that's 3 half. Okay, so x is 3 half. How do you find the y value of the vertex now? You can put that into the function. So take that x equal to 3. 3 half and plug it in over here, plug it over here inside of the x, okay? So y is equal to 2 times the x. What is x? 3 half squared minus 6 times 3 half plus 3. Pen this. x run first, 9 over 4, multiply this, that's a 3, 9 plus 3, that is 3, 9 over 2. 2 minus 9 plus 3, that's going to be, let's see, 9 half is 4.5, minus 6 is negative 1.5. Okay, what does that mean? That means my vertex is at x comma y, what was the x value of the vertex? 
3 half or 1.5, come out. What's the y value of the vertex? Negative 1.5. Cool. So if you were to actually sketch it, it's going to be 1.5, comma, negative 1.5. Opens up narrower than the parent, something like this. Okay? All right, let's get going. There we go. Ooh, there's my standard form. Let's go find everything. Direction and the width is determined by the A value. What's the A value? A is negative one third. Is it positive or negative? Negative. So it opens down like this. Is absolute value of A, absolute value of A is greater than one or less than one? Less than one, so it's gonna be what? Wider than the parent. So I just knocked two things out just by looking at the A value. Now let's find the vertex. How do you find the vertex? X is equal to negative B over 2A. Plug it in. Negative, what's the B? So A is negative 1 third. B is 2. C is negative 2. B is 2 over 2 times. What's the A value? Negative 1 third. Oh, fraction. Be careful. First of all, negative divided by negative is positive. So let's not worry about it. So I have 2 divided by 2 times 1 third. What's 2 times 1 third? 2 third. 2 divided by 2 thirds, dividing by fraction is the same as multiply by reciprocal, right? Oh, well, let me write them. 2 divided by 2 thirds is the same as 2 multiply by the reciprocal, which is going to be 6 over 2, that is 3. Okay, so x is 3. Now, how do you find the y value? You plug that 3 back into where the x's are. Simplify 3 squared is 9, negative 9 over 3, plus 6 minus 2, negative 3 plus 6 minus 2 is 1. What's the vertex? 3 comma 1. 3 comma 1. X is of symmetry is X is equal to what? The same as a vertex. Okay, so these are going to be the same. Um, domain quadratic function, domain is always negative infinity to positive infinity. What about the range? That one's a little tricky. What you need to do is you need to sketch it. Okay, with all the information. So vertex at 3 comma 1, it opens down and it's wider. So it's going to look like this. So what kind of y value do we have? We have y has to be what? Less than equal to 1. So that's how you do the range one. Range will be the tricky one. Okay. All right, let me do one more. Um, now how do you graph it? So in standard form. You know how we did in vertex form in the previous lesson? In standard form, this is what we're going to do. Find the vertex. Let's start. Find the vertex. X is equal to negative B over 2A. Negative B over 2A. Notice I put the parentheses just to be careful. So X is equal to 1. Y is equal to plug that 1 over here. 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 4. 3. So vertex is at 1 comma 3. Did I do my math right? I hope so. All right, and then make a table. So it's really similar to what we did on the last class. X and Y, vertex is 1, 3. You do 2 and 3, and then find out the Y value. And you're going to use a symmetry to find the other half. So take that 2, plug it into the X. Okay, so 2 squared minus 2, 2 plus 4 is 4 minus 4, 0, 4. So 2 comma 4, same thing, plug 3 into the X. Minus 6 is 3, plus 4 is 7. And now you plug these points in. Okay. Oops, sorry, you couldn't see. 1, 3, 2, 4, 3, 7. And now what? So that's the half of the quadratic. And remember, that's the x's of the math tree. So that has to be reflected across to the other side. So you just follow along. Okay, next one over here, reflect it. And then. Connect like that. Okay? Alright, so if I were you, there are two examples on the next page, right? Please, please, please go ahead and then try those. Bring that with you to the class and then we'll, we'll check it out.